I'm Michael with Crescent Parts. I'm Ignacio with Eris. We've got three minutes to give you a lot of info, so let's get started. My question is, let's talk ozone. Okay. You hear a lot of people ask ozone, is it safe, is it not safe? What do you say? It's one of the most misunderstood things out there. Ozone, the amount that we put out there, 0.04 parts per million, you're likely going to get more ozone out of a thunderstorm. So we're not talking about the ozone levels that other people discuss. At the same time, it is an option. So we can consult you for not ozone, but we find a lot of people prefer the ozone just because it eliminates odors quicker. Makes sense, yeah. Okay. So what about UV light? A lot of people get these confused. They say, is it a UV light? Is it not a UV light? That's a good question. While we have a UVC bulb in our cell, our UV doesn't shine outside of our cell. Why? UV is typically not good for the system. It's not good for plastics. It's not good for flex duct. Our UV light exists for one reason, to create a photocatalytic reaction so we can create those hydroxyls, which will go out and kill the germs and bacteria. Quite honestly, UV lights have velocity and distance limits. So the old idea of putting a UV light in a system, it may have been good for your coil, but it doesn't do anything beyond that. So we're talking two completely different products. Different technology. That's a passive device. We are an active device. So Ignacio, tell me about some different maintenance on these items. Okay, that's the beauty of our product. Uh, for our residential units, you replace your cell every two years, or like commercial units, you replace them once a year. As long as you register your warranty online with us, we will give you and your customer a courtesy reminder when it's time to change the cells. On this unit here, once a year you'll change your cell, make sure you keep your filter clean. On this unit here, if you're running it 24-7, you need to change that cell once a year, on the back side, we have a filter cartridge. It's as easy as pushing it in, pops off the cover. It's a single Phillips screw, and you have access to the whole system. Everything beyond that is all thumb screw. Don't forget about the maintenance on charging this. That's the beauty of this one as well. USB charge, it'll run up to 10 and a half hours of runtime. Don't leave it in the truck at 120 degrees. Don't leave it in a truck 20 below. It exists to take in, put it in front of your customers, let them do the research. And if the tech's doing it right, that thing's dead at the end of every day. If he's doing it right, he's selling a lot of air scrubbers every day. So Ignacio, we talked a little bit about UV lights. There are other products out there that claim to be more than just a UV light. Sure. So how does this product differentiate with those? The biggest difference in the product for us, really across the industry wide, there are two different kinds of parts. There's passive devices and there's active devices. Passive devices, the best way to think about it is a mouse trap. If the mouse finds the trap, it goes into the trap, the mouse is dead. We are an active device. Think about the cat running around the house looking for the mouse. Basically, a passive device can only kill what comes to it. As far as competition goes, they each do a little bit of what we do. I always tell people, if you put all those products together, add a little more, you've now created an air scrubber. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you. All right, so that about wraps us up. You've got a good glimpse of all these different products. I want to really encourage you to reach out to your TM at Crescent Parts. We have lots of great customizable literature. We can include your logo, website, phone number, all that information.